So guys, we have just got here at Burley. Are you excited, Elle? I'm very excited. Um, and this year, we are glamping. So before we jump into Friday at Burley, I'm going to take you back in time slightly because recently I was invited to the Burley Media Day, which happens just before the event. It's a great day. I got to meet some of the riders who were riding this year. I got to meet the director, the course designer and some riders who have previously ridden there. It was a fantastic day. And we also headed out in the Defenders with course designer Derek de Grazia and got a glimpse at the course. We got to go around and see some of the fences. Um, there are definitely certain aspects of this year's course. I can't wait to see how the riders tackle them. It looked absolutely huge when I was walking it. So yeah, I am excited and I'll be giving my opinion on the course as we go through as well. I am so excited. I'm gonna show you our tent that's kindly been given to us by Burley Boutique. So this is mine and Elle's yurt that we are staying in for the weekend. Um, we've got a twin. It's huge in here, guys. It's absolutely massive. Um, but yeah, I will show you a little bit more of uh, where we're staying now. So we're just unpacking now, hell in the background, and then we're grabbing a buggy down because there's a buggy service when you camp here um, to the main thing to the horse trials. We've got a course walk this afternoon, um, which is very exciting. You excited, Elle? Very excited. <laughs> Even more excited about my freebies. <laughs> oh, what we've got? We've got some. Soap and shampoo, which is soap, shampoo, like earplugs to probably to block you out, <laughs> an eye mask. I love it. And I don't know what this is. This oh, is a poncho. A poncho. Oh, great. But yeah, it's so cute. Right, let's go. So for me the best thing about staying at the boutique was the fact that we could just jump on a buggy and get straight into the action. So guys, the sun has come out and we are getting a crepe or crepe or whatever the hell you call them. Um, we've done a bit of shopping. Are we boiling out? Yeah. I'm literally melting. Absolutely melting. So of course Friday is dressage day, but me and Elle normally spend the first day getting a lie of the land, seeing where everyone is, like where they're based, doing a bit of shopping, going and meeting brands. So we actually had um, Burley TV on the phone just to see what all the action was in the arena. We didn't go into the arena as I don't typically do um, at larger events, although I did watch some at badminton this year. However, if you haven't seen Tim Price's dressage, you've got to go over to Bailey TV and watch it. Um, he received the first sub 20 test score ever at Burley and it was a fantastic dressage test. Definitely worth watching. I do kind of wish we'd have gone into the grandstand to watch that, but it's all there to be watched time and time again on Burley TV. <laughs> Ping pong table. Yes, they've got a ping pong table. So after a long day of shopping, not really seeing any dressage, and chatting to some of my brands and sponsors, me and Elle headed back early because we are actually going out for a meal this evening. But first, we had a little drink at the Bailey Boutique Bar, which is just the coziest place ever. And then we headed back to our tent and got changed because this evening we're going for a very special meal at Mildred's Bistro in Stamford. So it's a meal 
with um, Mary King and Lucinda Fredericks. They're going to be talking all about their billet experiences and their careers in general. It was very swanky and there was some lovely, lovely food and some even lovely company. Uh, we were there with Martha Lilly, who is a photographer, if you guys don't know her, and Sophie Hall, a fellow influencer and just lovely people. Uh, then it was time for me and Elle to head back home to our little glamping site. Um, we managed to find our tent, which we were <laughs> worried about, but we found it straight away um, and then settled in for the evening. So we've had our meal. <laughs> we're now in bed. <laughs> in our yurt. <laughs> Ready to get some sleep. So guys, it's now Saturday morning. We've had a lovely night's sleep in our yurt. Just been to brush our teeth and now we're heading to grab a few things out of the car. But today is cross country day. I am super excited because it's our favorite day out of the entirety of Burley. Um, me and Elle will be walking the entire course today. Um, but first we need to get ready. I'm gonna wear this like this all day. No, you're not. <laughs> So one of the really cute features here at Bailey Boutique is that they actually have this little pamper pod. Um, so it's full of mirrors and places you can do your makeup and hair dryers. And I just thought it was like the sweetest little thing ever. So we got ready in there and then we headed for breakfast and the food here was lovely. Obviously we didn't hit, eat here last night, um, but breakfast was really, really nice. Um, you can basically just have whatever you wanted and I knew that it was gonna be a very long day. So I went for a full English with all the sides, everything on it. Um, and then it was time once again to jump in the buggy and head down to the main event. And I could already tell it was going to be such a busy day because all of the cars were queuing to get in. But luckily, buggies can go around cars. So it's always a great turnout for cross country and today it was no different. It was quite busy going in over Lions Bridge. The first place that me and Elle went was Ariat to say hi to the team and to check out their new autumn winter seasonal range that's come out. Lots of exciting new things. Um, definitely got my eye on a few of these items and I am actually wearing head to toe Ariat today so that was very fitting. Then me and Elle made our way to the course and there are certain jumps that I definitely want to see how the riders tackled today that I saw from my course walk. Um, they of course make it look so easy. course really starts at Defender Valley. This is where I've always sat in previous years. It consists of four fences and I think what this is where it's so classically burly with the undulating ground um, and a lot of big gas quite soon in the course. Now fence number six I saw on the course walk with Derek and my goodness this triple bar was huge. It was so wide. I think it was like 2 meter 40 at the width which is just crazy. But of course the riders just make it look so easy. Had a particular And then next up is the infamous Holland and Cooper leaf pit. So it's a huge drop down. And then skipping a few, because if you hadn't guessed already, we had slight issues with the camera. So I'm having to use some of the real footage um, for this video. So apologies guys. But I remember thinking these arrowheads looked absolutely mahoosive. And then I got very excited because we've not seen a bounce at Burley for quite a while and I actually walked this um, and I remember thinking how the hell are the horses going to get over this?
So we've made it to Cotsmore Leap, the fence. In fact, I think someone's coming over just now. So guys, we walked the majority of the course and then we've popped home for a little bit of an outfit change. A, because I got champagne all down myself. <laughs> and B, because it's the Fairfax and party evening later. And of course, had to wear my boots for it. So um, me and Elle have just got changed um, back at glamping. I'm gonna head back into Burley now. So after drinks at Fairfax and doing some interviews with Soph, um, I then had the opportunity to have a drawing lesson by none other than Emily Cole. Now I must admit I cannot draw um, at all so I was a little bit nervous about this but Emily put me at ease straight away and she basically showed me what to do and I just followed. So I'm going to have a go at drawing snip today. So after my drawing lesson, we headed back to camp, got changed, had tea, which was really lovely. Um, and before we knew it, it was night. Now on Saturday, I had planned a day of watching the show jumping, but unfortunately I had to head home to get some work done and to upload lots and lots of reels. Um, so I actually watched the rest of the show jumping on Burley TV at home, which I would really recommend you get to see all of the best shots. And of course, the amazing Oliver Town End won this year at Badminton. I thought Tim Price was definitely going to win, but he didn't. Ollie just pipped him to the post. And it was a fantastic Burley. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Burley Horse Trials for inviting me, for Ariat for dressing me, and to Burley Boutique for letting me stay. I hope you guys have enjoyed this very different type of vlog. And I'll see you all next week for another video. Bye guys.